वेलकम टू द न्यू प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन मोर प्ले लिस्ट ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन माई पी एम नेटवर्किंग यूट्यूब चैनल सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव वन नेम टू दिस प्ले लिस्ट एंड नेम इज दिस रियल डिवाइस कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू कंप्लीट कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ रियल डिवाइस लाइक रोटर एंड स्विच I will I will show you complete configuration of router and switch on real device, not on packet tracer. And I will upload one video every day in this playlist. Okay. So today I am going to show you how how you will how you will access this device through your laptop through your laptop, right? So I have one laptop. I will show you each and everything step by step, right? In day two, I will show you how to configure IP address on real device. How, how to configure telnet? How you will able to access to to access the router from your PC, and your PC is connected through switch, and your switch is connected through this router through Ethernet cable. Okay, so I have everything. Don't worry. I will show you each and everything in this playlist on real device. All configuration of Cisco router and switches. Fine. So what we need? Let me talk about about the requirement. okay so hardware requirement is find router and switch first one is after that one laptop one laptop and one power cable one power cable two power cable for two device right i have approximately 15 device right so i have 15 power cable to connect to give power to this device okay after that you need a console cable you need a console cable this is console cable you can see one end of this cable is rj45 and one end end is serial right so but there is no any port there is no any serial port in my laptop so we need one more connector that is usb2 serial connector usb2 serial connector right so first we need to connect my console cable to this connector so that i will be able to access access my devices through laptop right now you can say rj2 usb fine it's fine let me keep aside for a minute for a while and after that we need ethernet cable right so we have multiple ethernet cable don't worry about that it's i am showing you just one piece to connect a router to switch to connect my router to switch and computer through this switch right we need ethernet cable so it's automatic sensor cable right so how we will connect this device together in fast ethernet 0/0 i will connect to this router on fast ethernet 0/0 and i will connect one end to this switch right and then i will show you how to connect your computer my laptop to this switch and i will enable telnet on router and i will access access my router through this pc through telnet remote access right so you will see each and everything on real device don't worry about that but today i am going to show you how to access your device right how to access your device so what we need to do first first you need to understand about some port so guys as you can see over here this is my switch this is my switch so it is 29603 switch catalyst 2960 switch fine and we have 20 four ports only i have 24 ports only i can extend extend it to 48 ports as well okay so just look here there is one console port right you can see here is one console port and here is one power port right here is one power port so you need to connect your power cable to this this port right to this port you need to connect your power cable to this port okay and plug this to board let me plug it plug it yes now my switch is my switch is on right my switch is booting right now just wait for some time no my switch is fine what we need to do you need to connect console cable to this switch console cable okay let me connect rj45 to console cable of this switch fine 
now we need to connect this usb to my laptop okay so okay i am taking my laptop over here over here okay and let me connect my laptop through this usb port and let me show you my computer screen to you right it will be more clear to you you need one software putty right you need to install putty to access this device right to access these two device in the same way i will connect this power cable to router and then i will remove this cable from the switch right i will remove this console cable from the switch and i will connect my router right so router have also have one console port over here here right okay here here is console port let me let me show you router first let me disconnect it disconnect it okay how router looks first so guys this is my router series is 292911 Two nine double one, okay. Two nine double one, and here is two ports. One is fast Ethernet zero slash zero, and one is fast Ethernet zero slash one, right? And look here, look here. I have some port. First one is console port and auxiliary port. So console port, I will connect my console cable to this port, console port, right? And one end to my laptop, right? And let me. Let me show you my laptop screen to you, right? What I am going to do on my laptop. Let me connect my router to this console port first. Console port. Okay. And let me give power to this router. Okay. So router is booting. Just wait for some time. Let me connect my PC to this router. Just wait for some time, router is booting now. On sorter will boot, I will show you how to access this sorter through this PC, right, through console cable, okay. So, I will install putty, actually I have already putty and I am not going to show you how to install putty, right. On YouTube, there is lot of video available, you can install it in your laptop, if you have this device. You will access this router in the same way I am accessing right now, okay. You need to connect your console cable on console port and one port in your laptop now router is booted right now let me let me show you my computer screen first to you okay so what we need to do over here is we need to open putty so putty click here run as administrator yes okay guys see here is one serial option so click on it serial option not serial line let me check my port number so go to control panel go to control panel then device manager device manager and port number serial port number is com5 com5 okay it's right com5 click on serial and open it just wait no and you can see i have access of router yes i'm running enable command so now i am in privilege mode configure terminal interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 exit exit so ip interface brief right so in the same way 
you can access your router as well right and in the same way you can access your switch as well right so what you need to do over here is just connect your switch through power power cable then connect your console cable cable to switch and then open put t and uh, click on serial then you will get access of switch right now in next video i will show you configuration right so that's all for today so today i have show you how to how to access your router and switch right how to access your device that's all for today thank you if you haven't subscribed my channel subscribe this channel so whenever i upload next video you will be notified right so click on bell bell icon as well and if you like this video please hit on like button thank you